This is going to be the end of, let's see, March, April, May, June. This is going to be the end of month four in my business building for Heritage Wealth Planning. And again, as I said before, my goal has been to uh, really focus on YouTube. because I think for financial planning, the YouTube area is way underserved. And I think we're seeding uh, the, the field to actually a bunch of insurance salesmen uh, through like infinite banking and bank, whatever it is. And I just I, I, it's too bad, actually, because the heavy hand of regulation uh, puts a lot of financial planners up against the wall where they can't do uh, YouTube videos because of compliance and whatnot. And when you're an RIA, registered investment advisor, and your business revolves around right here, you, you know, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Obviously, you can't make promises and things, but in terms of being just uh, doing real videos, you can do that. Fine. Uh, just as the big firms that don't allow that. So anyway, so I figure I share uh, again for my own be able to look back, uh, if nothing else. But if you're out there, then you know, again, this is the end of four months. And let's go into what we have here so far. So um, this is, uh, I've had three, again, uh, we'll see, this is the whole time, right? Yeah, okay, so this is the whole time. I've had 32,662 views, and I've got 303 subscribers. And I, does it say how many uh, videos I have here? I wanna show you some, I think it's like 155, 154 something. Let's see what it shows me. Bear with me just a second. Yeah. Oh, I got 173. Okay. So a lot more videos than I anticipated. So basically I got one half subscribers per video. All right. So that's interesting. That's good to see. 173. And just as a side note, you definitely want to create playlists, my friends, for your videos as you're doing them. Um, it just is easier to organize for sure. And then you can actually put playlists into um, when you do a video, you have an end screen annotate i forgot what it's called but youtube it gives you this end screen where you can basically promote a couple things at the end screen and what i what what i do is still do on occasion i'll promote a video that's relevant to what the video i just did was now i'm starting to just put the end screens it's easier that way you can see the whole thing so if someone jumps onto my how states tax retirees i got uh, 48 videos there but i only have 48. <laughs> I miss a couple. Anyway, so I got 48 videos there, so they might find it interesting. They'll just go one after the other after the other, and that's what YouTube wants to see. They want you to see, they want your uh, your subscribers to stay on your channel or at least stay on YouTube actually. So they want to see that. So definitely do playlists. I'm not sure we only got 48 there. I got to look at that. That's interesting. So let's go back to the dashboard. Um, it's interesting actually too because it took me about uh, there's a guy named Miles Beckler uh, doc, at milesbeckler.com. Um, basically, he's the the impetus for me to start my YouTube channel. He doesn't do financial planning; he does more uh, internet marketing, whatnot. But you know, he, he started off his YouTube channel uh, back, I think he said August 2016, with no subscribers. Now he's got nearly 60,000 because he's just doing a bunch of videos, and he was doing a 120 day challenge, a video a day for 120 days, and. I'm telling you, it's addictive. You do it. I like it. I like it a lot. I love doing videos. It's addictive and fun. So I do them all the time. I'm always thinking about what other videos to do. I got 8 million videos in my head here or on my, my notebook there. And I just can't possibly get to them every day. But uh, but I plan on doing a video a day, essentially. We're pretty doggone close. And it, anyway, what Miles was saying is, he, you know, he started off with 52 subscribers after the first month, 155 after the second month, 350 after the whatever. But it just it, it gets exponential. It's actually interesting. So I want to sh show you a couple of things here. Watch time, views and subscribers. And it's very interesting here, too, because this is the stuff that's interesting to me. My watch time bumped up like crazy and fell off a, uh, uh, fell off a roof, I guess, whatever. And the reason for that is because I paid. I was I was doing some ad, paid ad. Remember, this is just the last 28 days. I can do whatever I want. But I was paying for some traffic. I was running some ads on AdWords. And I've gotten pretty good at that, actually. So I, I'm in the middle of doing a book that I wanna, I'm really going to focus, like, you know, white on rice on and for my next campaign. In the interim, I was actually just practicing running ads. And so, as you can see, I had a lot of good ads and a lot of good view, a lot of good uh, watch time and a lot of good views. Uh, because of the number of ads, uh, the ads I was running. And it's actually getting down like two cents per view, which is pretty good. And what happens is if you do it right, you're going to get a pixel essentially on the uh, viewer's, uh, you know, uh, browser. All right. So they go to your video and they watch it. That's my understanding, at least. Um, YouTube puts a pixel on there and you can remarket to them later. So essentially you're like collecting pixels. And then now I stopped doing that right here. That's why I fell off a cliff. 
Um, and initially that was kind of disappointing, but as you can slowly see, a little bit of an uptick there, a little bit of an uptick. And as you can also see too, I wasn't really getting subscribers. My ads did not necessarily lead me to subscribers. Now, it did not not leave me. So, I mean, I still get a few, but it wasn't to the extent that I'm getting now, which is interesting. And I don't think they're they're coordinated there. I don't think ads, if you're running ads, you're going to get less subscribers. If you're not running ads, you're going to get more. I don't think it works like that. I just think the exponential nature of YouTube um, in terms of, you know, the videos I've done in the past are now starting to get a little more traction. You know, the videos I put out now are drawing people for the ones now. They're drawing people for the older ones and, and get more and more subscribers. So it's pretty interesting, actually. We're seeing this little tip up, tick up in views and watch time and definitely a big tick uh, up in subscribers. Um, as I, I seem like I stuck at I just every day. It seemed like I stuck at a number. It seemed like 277 I was stuck at. I was stuck at 248 not that long ago, just a couple, I mean, really just a couple of days ago. And now we're at 303, which is pretty cool. Uh, my goal, of course, is to break the thousand. Once you get a thousand, then YouTube takes you more seriously, I guess. It's, I mean, I, I, you can monetize that on whatever. But, you know, your goal is to break a thousand in order to YouTube to uh, take as a legit business. I, I don't know that that they're going to give me any more you know, leeway in terms of uh, put my my content out there for suggested videos. I have no idea, but it can't hurt. That's for sure. So that's my goal to get a thousand. I was hoping to get a thousand by the end of the year, and here it is, July second. And you know, we got we're, we're we're moving the ball. I mean, I've really started. I didn't really get my first subscriber until the middle of March. Um, and I remember the first subscriber was like, "Whoa!" And then I had like three, and it seemed like I stuck on three for a while. But it's just as funny when you look back where you were, and you're like, "I remember being stuck on one subscriber for, for a couple of days. I think like five days. Actually, I remember being I didn't have any subscriber for the first couple of days. I remember that. I was like, "Man, no one's watching." And then it kicked in. Now I'm not anywhere near sixty thousand like my man Miles, but uh, you know he starts someplace and I am too. So anyway, it's just it's interesting to let the compounding nature of uh, of the business work. Now, as you can see, I do some uh, Mailchimp up here. So what I do is I do an email. I'm collect, uh, doing an email list. Maybe I'll just click on it right quick. Um, my last email I just sent out yesterday. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to send off an email, you know, basically five times a week or so. Um, and I, I'm getting a, uh, you know, landing page that people can go to to sign up. And I got 57 subscribers now. I say the, the, the bulk of those are from people I knew before I started my business. But I've had probably 10 to 15 people on my landing page. And again, that just takes time too. I mean, it's, I put a landing page out, I guess, going on three weeks ago now. And it takes time. I mean, but uh, I, I, it seems like I was at, I was doing some advertising for it on Facebook and on uh, AdWords. And I was drawing a lot of a little bit of business there, and I stopped again because I got to focus on this one thing I'm trying to do is get this one book done. That way, I can advertise like crazy on that. But um, but it, even that was that was a little bit more expensive for a uh, lead from Facebook. I think it was like a buck or two a click. I can't remember. But anyway, um, it, it, I just want to put that on pause for a second because I, I, I need to really refocus on that uh, once my other book is done on Roth IRAs. So it was pretty interesting. So I try to stay out. You know, I try to send this email out you know, five times a, a week or so. And hopefully people get it and they like the content. If they do, then hopefully they'll... Uh, you know, they'll subscribe or not subscribe. Hopefully they'll go to the YouTube channel. Hopefully they'll tell their friends, whatnot. Uh, so let's go to analytics here. Um, and again, I have 173 videos. That's that's more than I would have thought. It's just fun, man. You do one a day, you just get there. I mean, I used to dress up in a tie. And I took the tie off and I just put the shirt on. And I took the shirt off and I put on a polo. And I put the polo on and I'm just doing a t-shirt. I just, at the end of the day, it's, I, it is what it is. I mean, people say, I don't want to talk to that guy because I don't have a tie on. Well, that's probably not <laughs> the kind of guy. I would have worked with anyway, but I initially when I first started, I said I kind of looked apart and then I just like, I don't want to do that anymore. That's one drawback about YouTube is you still got to, you know, you, you can't like this morning I woke up, you know, my head was all mess. I hadn't shaved. I hadn't worked out. I was like, I, I really want to do a video right now, but I, I need to get to the gym. I need to shave and stuff. And it's like, that's the one drawback by YouTube is that, you know, you don't want to look like a, a hot mess when you're doing that. So anyway, so I'm trying to load the analytics here. And uh, they're my average view duration is uh, five twelve, and that's uh, for the last twenty eight days. And that's uh, actually so that's down quite a bit. Actually, that's down yeah thirty percent from the last thing, which is uh, so that's that's dropped quite a bit. So average view duration has dropped. Um, my average watch time has dropped too. And that, again, I attribute a lot of that to not doing any ads. 
because I was advertising for a couple of longer videos and I was getting some pretty good feedback on that and pretty good headwinds. Now my views are again, trick is going up. So drop, drop, drop going up. I like that. That's good news there. So we're seeing views going up. Should be a pretty significant drop. Yeah. Another one, 8%. That's not so bad. Um, it's pretty interesting here. And again, this is my, uh, my number one, I didn't do any advertising for social care for divorce A's. And I've got, uh, I mean, just a huge amount of views. Uh, that's just for the last 28 days. And, you know, it's just this kicking butt, taking names. And that's just completely organic. I, I didn't do anything. I did some advertising for this, for Kentucky. I did actually a pretty interesting one. I did a, uh, uh, a video ad for that for Kentucky. And I did, I think I talked about this, another one. I did a display ad for Indiana. And my Kentucky one on the the display ad is when you go and you're not gonna see here, but when you go to YouTube and you see all these ones on the right hand side that kind of go like all oh, those are called display ads. You'll see it right there, and that didn't get nearly the traffic that the Kentucky one did. Now is it more quality traffic? I don't know. Um, it had seven likes to two for Kentucky, and I think I got more. There's a way YouTube says like they look at another video you did. I forgot what they call it, but um, I think I got more on Kentucky or on Indiana than I got in Kentucky, even though I got a whole lot more watch time on Kentucky and a lot more views too. But I think, look at that. I mean, I got you know, four times as many likes, basically uh, one comment. I just, I think, but and Indiana also gave me more, like they clicked on that and then they went to another one of my videos where Kentucky they did not. I wonder if they'll tell me like watch time. I'm just curious to see if they'll say like average watch time. Let's see where this takes us here. Those are some of the ads I was running. I did a, yeah, watch time. So uh, look at that watch duration, you know, eight minutes and 51 seconds. I think the video is only yeah, 12 minutes. That's a pretty significant watch duration there. Um, uh, let's see. You got two likes, two shares. Well, two people share. That's cool. Um, and YouTube advertising traffic sources. That's for, Okay. I'm just trying to see, has anyone watched this recently? Yeah, so nobody. Since I stopped advertising, no one's watched it. Uh, uh, that's not what I wanted to see right there. So that's not good. But, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, at some point, when I get enough traffic, I imagine people will watch it. Um, nothing there. So so it just shows you, you know, buying traffic can work. I mean, you're paying for traffic. You're trying to get people to watch it. And when people found it, they're watching it pretty thoroughly. And they're watching almost 75% of it. Yeah, 75% of it, eight minutes on or nine minutes of a 12 minute video. Let's go to Indiana one, because again, this is the display ad as opposed to, I forgot the other ones, a YouTube ad. Um, so this, let's we'll see. If, yeah, see, look at that average view duration, only two minutes. Um, I mean, two minutes, you know, that's, and this is a uh, 17 minute video. That's not good. Now, a couple of things going on. Indiana tax people a whole lot worse than they do in Kentucky. Maybe people just didn't like that. I mean, I don't know. But the content was different for sure, but pretty significant. Uh, what happened? Let's go back. Pretty significant difference in terms of view time, Kentucky versus Indiana. Even though I got more likes on the Indiana one, it's weird. That's I don't I don't get that. Um, but I also got more dislikes too. So I don't know if that's dislike because they don't like me or they don't like the content. I don't know. But it's interesting. Again, YouTube advertising, browse features, YouTube search. So we've got a little bit more organic traffic here. That's good. Um, Let's see. I got four subscribers off that. That's what I think it was. See, there was something though. Oh, man, there was three sub, three shares, four subscribers, less watch time, more likes. That's interesting. Let's go back to Kentucky. How many subscribers did I get off Kentucky? That's interesting. I don't know if they used to show that when you click on the actual the ad the uh, video in your analytics. So let's go back to Kentucky. How many subscribers did I get off this? I don't think I got many. If any, I didn't get any. So I don't know what to make of that. So we got more likes and subscribers on Indiana, even though the average watch time is lower. Um, and more organic traffic, too. That's interesting. I don't, I don't know what to make of that. I'm going to have to run some different tests next time to see why that's occurring. Because that, you know. Hmm, I don't know. That's interesting. So let's look at Florida. So Florida is doing some, again, some just video ads as well. This is the first one I started with. I didn't get any subscribers in Florida. I only got two likes. Um, YouTube search, again, just like Kentucky, the traffic sources are basically all from paid advertising. And five minutes and 24 seconds on an eight minute video. So that's what, you know, 60% or so. That is interesting. So, uh, yeah. 
the display ad in Indiana, less watch time, but a heck of a lot more shares, heck of a lot more subscribers, heck of a lot more likes and dislikes, just a heck of a lot more activity than my Florida and Kentucky one, which are not display ads, whatever the other one's called, just YouTube advertisements. That is interesting. I'm not sure what to make of that, but uh, I have to keep that in mind, folks. Just keep that in mind. You got to play around with it for sure. All right, I started running some Ace Facebook ads too. Um, off the top of my head, I can't really remember how well they were doing. So, I, again, I stopped all those. Ads. Facebook is giving me a hard time for actually advertising. Just if you go on Facebook ads, man, they I don't know what it is. Like, I, like every ad, they disapprove. Then I got to go back and say, look, this isn't political. Or I already did what you say to confirm my address. I live in the United States. I'm not a bot. And they always say, okay, we're going to approve your ad. And that never happens. It's the weirdest thing. I, I'm not sure what's going on with Facebook in that regard. But I like it. I like the fact you can, I just like Google and I like Facebook ads. You can remark, you can target. It's just, it's great. And I'm going to spend money on this stuff for sure. Um, you know, right now I was just kind of messing around, seeing if I could get it done. I did a little bit of Bing ads. One of the things with Bing ads, they don't let you do, um, is it income levels or age range? I can't remember. There's one thing in there that's pretty important. They don't let you do And I, I don't know why that is. That's, that's a pretty big deal for me, my line of work. I forgot what it was, but I was like, really? Um, they, oh, you got to like add, increase. I think it was like age. You got to increase it by 10% if you want someone who's in the 40 year old and decrease it by 20% if you want someone in the 30 year old. It's like, I, it doesn't make sense. Why don't you just do it so I don't want those people in the 30 to 40 or I do want them, whatever it is. We'll only just let it click on who you want to target. Wasn't a big fan of big ads. I haven't done any LinkedIn yet. Uh, Facebook, I like. I'm getting a, a little bit of a knowledge of Facebook. I'm liking that quite a bit. So I'm, I can definitely see myself pursuing that more. I've run some Facebook ads. I don't know if I can show it. Well, no. Um, I'll tell you what. I run some Facebook ads, and I'll show you what has come up. In fact, if you look at my Google Analytics, uh, well, actually, I'm just going to show you the app on uh, WordPress uh, the stats. And so I'm running a Facebook ad right now. I got one going right now, and it's um, how Alabama – uh, taxes retirees and that so basically it's cost me you see I'm getting most of my traffic on that one right there I've been running it for a while it's cost me 35 bucks and I've gotten 300 clicks or I you know if you're talking click now those aren't leads I don't have any subscribers off that so you can't I'm not I'm not converting those into actual um, people who follow my blog or anything like that at least at this point but I got the pixel and I've had a couple, probably a good 10 or likes or so on Facebook, my my uh, you know, my business page. So I got the pixel, got the 10 or likes on my business page, so we can always remarket to them. I thought that was pretty cool, actually. That cost me, you know, 300 to 35 bucks. Was that 10 cents a click or something like that? I mean, that's that's not too shabby. So so if you get 10 cents a click and you got your pixel set up and then you get two cents a click like I was doing here on, uh, on my uh, YouTube ads, that's pretty cheap money to at least gather a pixel. Now, will that pay dividends? I have no idea. I have no clue at all. But that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to target that to see if I could do that. And I'll do that going forward for sure. But I thought that was pretty interesting. So if Facebook would get off the schneid and allow me to run some more ads, I'd spend a shit bullet of money uh, trying to get ads there. Because I have, you know, how Alabama tax retirees, how Mississippi tax retirees, how Pennsylvania. And I want to focus on all those people to get them to come to my website. Hopefully they'll sign up for my a free offer on the Roth IRA book and get on my email list. That's the whole point of this. So they haven't done it yet. Um, again, it's a little bit different uh, what I'm doing there so far. I'm not quite where I want to be, but I haven't had a lot of people sign up for the email list when they go to my website. Um, but frankly, I, I don't know if it's actually working. I think it is because I've had a couple of people sign up, but I'm not sure if it works every time someone goes. I just don't know. So anyway, so uh, how are we doing with clients? So we've got two clients. Um, I lost one because they didn't think I had an office. That was bad. And I do have an office where I'm at right now. But, uh, I, you know, I get the concern there. So I did lose a client. I've got two uh, who I love a lot and it's fantastic. And uh, done some seminars, got a bunch of leads from seminars. I am doing seminars and I'm, that's not cheap, but that's that's a good way to, to generate <coughs> leads, uh, at least for your website. Um, now, whether or not that, again, it comes up, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm in fourth month. I've done four months. I said I got two years to do this. So. Got another uh, 20 months to see how it shakes out. <laughs> so it's nerve wracking. I'm not going to lie, but you love it, man. If you if you wake up in the morning and you're ready to rock and roll, you're doing it right. There's just no other way around. I wake up at 5, 5.15. The first thing I do is get on here and start doing stuff. I love it. 
I'll be, you know, I just love it. It's fun. And if you enjoy it, you'll do it and you'll do it and you'll do it. And at some point it's going to be successful or it won't. If it's not successful, then at least you can rest assured that you try. So right now we got 300, just to re you know, wrap this up. We got 173 videos after four months. Um, we got 303 subscribers, uh, our watch time. I mean, all you really need for watch time is 240,000 minutes. Yeah. So 303 subscribers. Again, it's just last 28 days. For the whole time, yeah, maybe not. Um, I'm not sure if it lets me do it for the whole time, but anyway, so the watch time for me is about 140,000 minutes so far. Um, and so basically, that's one of the reasons why I had to stop the ads because I get a lot more watch time than subscribers. And I want to make sure my subscribers keep up on my ads, and that way I can <laughs> make sure that once my I'm able to keep up my watch time, that way when I hit 240,000 minutes, I'm not only at 200 subscribers because then. I would not make the thing for YouTube. You got to have a thousand watch of subscribers plus 240,000 minutes of watch time in the last 12 months. So if you have a thousand subscribers, only 18,000 watch time, that's, that's no good. You got to have them both. And YouTube, I, you know, they don't want you buying fake leads. I get completely get that. I don't have any qualm with it at all. But just remember, you don't want one way up here and the other way down here because YouTube won't. Uh, they won't smile on you. You gotta have a thousand two forty, thousand two forty. All right. Well, if you have any questions, let me know. Hope this helps. See you guys. Bye bye.